Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next line by line with our special guest, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello. And our loyal co host, Iron Root. Hey. <laughs> We are going to analyze lyrics by Shine Down called I Dare You. Okay. I yeah. would do so, the honors. Oh, yes, honors. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello. Let me introduce you to the characters in the show. One says yes, one says no. Decide which voice in your head should you keep alive. Even in madness, I know you still believe. Paint me on canvas so I become what you could never be. I dare you to tell me to walk through fire. Wear my soul and call me a liar. I dare you to tell me to walk through fire. I dare you to tell me. I dare you to. Hello. Are you still chasing the memories in shadows? Some stay young, some grow old. Come alive. There are thoughts unclear. You can never hide. Wow. That one is the song that uh, we can project a lot of our personal experiences. And I don't, I don't think they will match what uh, the musician meant. So let's just go with our own interpretation. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Lynn, what do you think about the first line? Hello. <clears throat> Let me introduce you to the characters of the show. So the characters of the show, um, that would be, is this reality, is it all real or is it not real? And what part of this is like make-believe and pretending? So like um, in our lives, we pretend things and there are things that um, are totally 100% authentic. So um, for me, it's like, it's questioning the, <clears throat> is this really a show? Is, is this uh, a reality? It, it, am, am I being played? Am I being conned? <clears throat> and um, then, oh, okay. So that's where that's at. Wow. That's, that's a good interpretation. Um, I think... Uh... Like all life is theater and we are all actors in it in a sense, right? That line and feeling had been there for centuries, actually. I, I do believe that we all play a role, right? If we notice ourselves being different uh, in response to the environment we are in, like let's say I'm one by one with a friend talking, or if I'm in a large group where I either want to hide or I want to get all eyes on me and impress people. Each time my actions change, like my behavior. So uh, I do believe this is kind of referencing that feeling where we all have to be characters in the show. But introduce you though. Uh, so other people, perhaps have the same the same worldview so they also have their own role to play and sometimes it's not what it seems uh, when you first uh, meet a person yeah that's the way i see it yeah so so th there's a question there right like mm -hmm. who are the characters and and what character are they playing so it's, it's a, also, in some sense, a, an invitation to, to explore and, and to, to understand the, <laughs> the, 
Yeah, like that character, for example. Like, we're like, what, what is his role? <laughs> Distracting, being more no, he's him. a comic relief. Come on, yeah, he's, yeah. The, he's the you know that that that, that book, uh, in the show that we all hope uh, will be fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like he's, he's giving me a sense of insecurity and inferiority because I was suddenly I was less important. Absolutely justified. Like... The dog is absolutely. <laughs> I don't. I don't need this song to project upon. I got real life. <laughs> I yeah, want to so, get uh... into there and like also caress the dog. But, but it, it's interesting because if you saw what happened, right, like it, a new character got introduced and we all changed our roles, right? Like we, we, we all started acting differently. So, so yeah, it's, it's, there's, a, there's an invitation in there somewhere, right? Like when you look at the world as a, if people are playing roles or characters, then that, that allows you to relate to people in a certain way. So I, th I think that's... Uh, interesting to explore in your in your own life yeah and the next line says one says yes one says no decide which voice in your head should you keep alive yeah yeah <laughs> how do you interpret that <clears throat> Well, I mean, I have the, you know, the visual of, uh, well, it's an old character. I don't know, you know, when it's like one shoulder, there's the devil and there's Satan on one side. And what is it? God on the other, Buddha. I'm going to say Buddha. Buddha on the other. <laughs> anyway, so it's like this little, um, you know, uh, a little thing from the 70s. I remember mm -hmm. seeing that. Um, uh it was like a, a big thing. So. <laughs> that that's just so reminds me of reference. That's actually yeah, a like really good you, reference. When you have Buddha on your shoulder, you got to run him over. Don't forget. Like, oh, yes. If you see Buddha by the side of the road, kill him. Okay. What? Then I guess it would have to be Jesus. Because <laughs> uh, he's already dead. <laughs> no. Always alive. No? Like Elvis. Oh, he's <laughs> alive. Oh, yes, he is alive, isn't he? Yeah. That is a problem. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, okay. So it, that's an angel, an angel, an <laughs> angel and a demon. Yes, an angel. So an angel on one side and... A fallen angel on the other. And a fallen angel. There are two angels. A yes. good angel and a bad angel. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's also I think they're both angels. Like one is one is fallen and the other one is still uh, high up. And the fallen one uh, advise you on one side, and the angel that is uh, divine uh, and like high moral core advise you a different thing. And it's up to you. So it is a free will, even though you have those two advisors, right? How do you interpret that, Aaron? Well, I, I have to reference to my talk with, with Grim Grizz and my, his favorite comment that I made. He who shows you two options hides a turd. Because oh. I, can't, I can't pronounce that word. It's a turd instead of a turd. Whatever. It's a, yeah. It's a, okay. Plan C, it's called. There is it's option exactly B, option A. And then there is this very bizarre option C, which will be outside of the dichotomy of, of black and wine, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian sleep. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the wine is, is option C. It's not option B. <laughs> <laughs> black and white and then there is wine <laughs> yep that that's how you get the colors back you re-enchant the world yeah you decide which voice in your head you should keep alive alive like that's a bit much you can keep both of them alive but one you will listen to one of them right well well in in some sense right it's like like mm -hmm. who who are you aligning with right like what is what is the person you want to be right like so, so in, in some sense, what you are is, is, is the choices you make. 
-hmm. and and which choices you keep alive right like you manifest in the world that's that's the person you're you're going to become yeah yeah mm -hmm. Even in madness, I know you still believe. Lynn, what do you think? Even in madness. Even in madness. <laughs> even in madness. Even in, oh, what's the opposite of madness? Even in clarity, I know you still oh. don't believe. That's the opposite, right? I don't want to be mad. I don't, I don't enjoy madness. Do you, do, uh, that, so that okay. would be chaos and order. So that's the mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson stuff. I'm not the, Oh my God. Shout out to Jordan Peterson again. We totally talked him in our last video. <laughs> this is bullshit stuff. That's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that he is. Is that a, but... is that a thing we will talk Jordan Peterson in every video? Yes, yeah, Jordan, yeah, yeah. you are invited oh. to all your fans, deep fans. Like. Oh, no. I'm not <laughs> supposed to mention him. Oh, edit that out. No. <laughs> okay, we so, love so, you, Jordan. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I, I do think that in madness, that, that is the point that you need to believe. Right? Like it, 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 the belief is the thing that will bring you back out of the madness. Like if, if, you, if you're not believing in the madness, you just get lost in insanity. So, uh, and, and it's also, uh, we were talking about being the light, right? Like it's, it's like relating to the light in the person, right? Like I, I know that, that the person is still in there, even, even though you're expressing madness right now. Okay. Um, I know you still believe. So regardless of your mental state, there is one uh, core of beliefs and morals that is unshakable, right? So that's how I see that line. It, regardless of everything, you still like, and I do believe like, even if you go on contrary, as a, as a contrary to that, the, the um, still belief part will be unshaken. Like even in clarity, I know you still believe because the state is irrelevant. That's, yeah, that's my view on it. And paint me on canvas. So I become what you could never be. Wow, I love that line. Lynn, what do you think? Well, that reminds me of like collective intelligence. Mm -hmm. I know some people don't think it's real, iron root and some people do <laughs> me <laughs> we won't talk about them so anyway so i guess that's kind of what that makes me think about or the perhaps it's um connecting with god in spirit um and creation inspiration creativity and um um you know, when somebody has a, has a passion or a talent and they um, manifest it or create it. So. Yeah, so I, I see mommy issues. Uh, <laughs> mommy issues. Yeah, it's like I could become what you could never be, right? Like, I, I got to live out your dreams. What, what about my own? Like, like, why, why, are we, why are we even on the same canvas? Amen for projections. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I want to uh, tell um, my side of that. Um, it's a partnership. This song is a dialogue, is, is, is uh, some, I think, uh, uh, some conversation that one side has started up with another side. So it's a kind of argument beginning. And this person says, paint me on canvas so I become what you could never be. This means the other person uh, keeps raising the expectations, right? And uh, says, 
I want you to be that, I want you to be that, I want you to be that, and even that. And, and just like change yourself to fit in my narrative. And obviously the singer says like, but you are not that. Like whatever you painted me uh, as, you are not even living up to that. And obviously never be. That's my projection. <laughs> that sentence. Well, well I think just... about, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. no, no, you go ahead. Oh, uh, no, I was thinking about fulfilling dreams. And mm -hmm. so there are people who have, don't have the capacity to fulfill their own dreams because of their disabilities. Mm -hmm. And how beautiful it is when people help one another to fulfill dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, so the painting is, is making concrete, right? It's, it's, it's making it come into being in, instead of mm -hmm. having it as a fantasy. And then... And then you, you can imagine like metaphorical painting on the soul. And I think that was what Nordwick was, was pointing at, right? Where by, by the helping, right? Like by the stimulating of the other person, or, or what I like to say, like agape, when we, to John Favaki uh, mm -hmm. mentions it, right? Like the making of a person, right? So, so someone is being made in, in, into a person. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and it's, it, it's pointing out at, at this is dependency upon the other, right? Like mm -hmm. you, could, you couldn't do it for yourself, right? But I can also not do it for myself, right? Like I need you to paint on me so, so that I can become more than, than I can by myself. Like I, I need you for that. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna start weeping. <laughs> huh. I I think yeah. more comic uh, relief, great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think people uh, should try to become what they want to be and not let other people to paint them. But we do need help of other people. That's true. We are yeah, we, social. We don't know animals. what we want, right? Like, like we, we think we know, and then two years later we look back and we're like, oh, yeah, that, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Our our podcast is based on projections. Okay. <laughs> I dare you to tell me to walk through the fire. I dare you to call me a liar. Um, hmm. I know when I went to the concert, it's like when you go to a, a you know a concert there's a there's a collective feeling in there and that's like singing like you sing that the lyrics to you know that's uh that's part of the you know screaming i dare you you know it's like uh it's a very uh, uh it feels uh really uh so full rebellious? of joy and huh rebellious right Re yeah yeah rebellious so like um you know you're in a concert and you're it's a, there is a collective intelligence component to that as far as everyone's being enchanted. And um, so that's uh, one of the songs, that's the, the lyric of the song that you sing out loud, you know, like yelling at the uh, singer. So that's what. Yeah, so, so the way I feel about it, right, I dare you to tell me to work through fire, right? So that that's, for me relating to you you don't know what it's like for me and come come and give your advice and, and and like be totally confused about what you're asking of me because because you you don't know what it's like for me and then wear my soul and call me a liar right is is the invitation to inhabit my perspective and say well like okay like i are, are, are you still sure you, you want to give me this advice like now that you know what it's like for me. So I, I think this is uh, relating to like, it, it, it's, it's an invitation to intimacy, but also a, a recognition that there's a connection that, that isn't there, right? That there's, a, there's, there's a sense of empathy uh, missing that, that is causing, causing a disconnect. Uh, I still believe it's setting up a bar too high. 
So the again, it's back. It's an argument. A singer tells to uh, to his opponent in that conversation, set up your bar so high that I can never do it. So that you will have the satisfaction of calling me a liar. And I dare you to means I'm expecting this of you. I'm expecting this of you. That's basically I'm expecting of you to uh, give me a challenge. Uh, which I can never make so that you will get the satisfaction. Of putting me down. It's an argument. I do see it as a full on blown argument here. Yeah. I think about sacrifice, you know, sometimes um, we sacrifice for others and they don't, they, you know, it's like they'll never recognize the sacrifice that you made for somebody. Yeah. I dare you to tell me to walk through fire. I dare you to. Interesting. Yeah, that part is definitely more, more argumentative, and it's it's provocative, right? It's like mm -hmm. I I want to be in in, in I, I want our relationship to be like this, right? Like I'm I'm not letting you out to have a, a different way of relationship to me than than this. Yeah. Hello, are you still chasing the memories in shadows? Are you still living in the past? Or are you in the present moment here right now, mm -hmm. dealing with what's happening in this present moment? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, oh, I know, I. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a native English speaker, so like, you know, <laughs> you're going to have to Ma'am! that one. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I, I still see it uh, again, it's an argument. And the, uh, the idea, are you still chasing the memories and shadows? Uh, to me, it reads as... Um, uh, remember like in the past we dreamed of that thing but then we decided that none of us is capable of it why are you still chasing it why are you still asking me to be that that's that's my full-on projection on that. <laughs> and, and there's a sense of of being lost right uh the shadow is not not yeah like lynn said not being in the here and now mm -hmm. Um, and, 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 and the chasing part is, is, is not having a grasp on it, right? Like it's, it's fleeting. It's, 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 yeah. Like there's no, no good way of connecting with it. it it's always out of, out of grasp. And, and in some sense that that's implying, right? Like there's a step before, and if, if we look at the earlier text, there's, there's this sense of, of asking too much, right? So, so there's a, uh, maybe some some steps in between that that weren't taken care of. Maybe the third option. Yeah, that's a sad song. Some stay young, some grow old. It's <laughs> an argument. Um, so. Uh, the person on the opposite side of the argument is uh, probably has uh, has a requirement for the singer to grow up, and he says some stay young and some grow old. Uh, like I'm not living up to those shadows that you're that I'm not living up to the memories that you're chasing in those shadows. Of course, I want to stay in uh, my own, or or I want to grow up. Wow. So, so basically, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that there's a idealism 
connected to the staying young, right? Like, like there's this, this mm -hmm. go getter attitude, right? Like this, this vividness, uh, uh, and young people are often really idealistic. Right? They're like, oh, we can just make the world like this. And, and, and then when, when you grow older, the, the cynicism seeps in, right? It's like, oh yeah, but reality ain't working that way. Um, and, and so there's this tension between, between the young, which, which wants to, to make things happen and, and the old one who effectively has given up in, in, in some sense. And yeah, like some, some keep that mindset of, of a young person, right? You, sometimes you see people that are 70 years old or 80 years old, that still like got, got the fire burning inside of them. And uh, some other people are just waiting to, to die. So that, that's what that invokes for me. When I think about the lyrics, some stay young, some grow old, I think about um, a person's life. So, you know, when somebody dies, you have them frozen in that particular um, frame uh, for the rest of their lives. And um, so while uh, other people have to grow old, they have to witness that. And, and so that's the, the suffering in between that realm. So that's what that line think, that I think about. So yeah, and then it ends on come alive. There are thoughts unclear. You can never hide. Come alive. There are thoughts unclear. You can never hide. So come alive. So live here in the now. And there are thoughts unclear. You can never hide. Oh, I think of uh, when it comes to thoughts unclear. You can never hide. I think of the secret sacred self that Paul Vanderclay talks about. <laughs> That's like thoughts unclear. You can never hide. It's like, um, uh, it's like you're always, your faults are always out there, but if you have a secret, sacred self, the Paul Vanderclay thing, then, um, so yeah, that's what would keep it protected and private protected. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, right, like you said, Lynn, the come alive is, is, is drawing you back in, into the present moment, out of, out of the shadows, out of, uh, being lost, lost in the past, um, participating as as a young person again, all right? Like not not someone who's stuck in in their ways. And then there are thoughts unclear, is is in, in invoking this this potential, right? Like the the unclarity is is something that can clear up, that you can participate, that, that can change you. Uh, and 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 that's that's part of what it means to to be a person. The, the unclearness to unfolds itself for you and, and then opens you up to the world it, and it, it invites you to, to participate with, with the world. Um, and that's, that's where, where we need to go. And then you can never hide is, is pointing out that that's inevitable, right? Like we, we need to get to that place because like if, if, if we're not participating with with the potential of the world uh yeah we'll we'll just end up in a depression and and at a certain point stop participating at all and and that's that's not being alive right it's come alive and 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 the inevitability of this is is accentuated in the fact that you can't hide right like you you, you can try all sorts of tricks not not to have to go through this process and to to have to deal with the uncertainty in the world, but but it's going to get you some way and, and you're not going to be prepared. Nodri? I think uh, uh, he says, get real. Everybody has unclear thoughts. And uh, so just like you don't hide them. Like you can never hide them. It's normal in a sense, right? So yeah hmm. nice yeah so wow. so what do we think about the fight is is there a, was this a good fight like, was it a good resolution to the fight the tension 
how dare you? Uh, I think it was a person attacking another person in a sense. Because it was not a defensive thing. That one was an attack. It was a provoking kind mm -hmm. of conversation. Hence, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Right? Basically, when um, argument uh, is uh, written like that, in that sense, the other person has to either protect itself by saying, like, I'm not talking to you, or or go in defensive mode. And that's, both of them are pretty bad. I don't know. I think it's the end of the relationship, basically. But that's what this song is. Well, I, I have a bit more positive feeling. It. <laughs> okay. Like it, well, it's it's pointing in the right direction, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, there, there is the opportunity for a solution. There's an opportunity to, to move forward. Uh, yeah. and yeah like there, there, there's pumps in the road right like that's why there's fights uh, mm -hmm. but it's it's what you do with it right like how, how you let it change you like do you do you use it as, as something that corrupts the relationship or something that builds uh, you with the other on, on the path that you're on mm -hmm. right like what, what's the attitude that, that you relate to to what happened yeah. I dare you. Really? <laughs> I dare you. Oh, what's the dare about? <laughs> oh, 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 I'll, I'll take that back. Okay, no dares. <laughs> <laughs> okay. wow. I dare you. Ah. <laughs> Well, may, maybe if there's a good care, uh, dare in the comment section, I'll, I'll uh, take it up next time. Oh, yeah. So, uh, guys, write in comment section what did you think of that song uh, meant. Uh, I will provide the link to the song as well as the lyrics. Our special guest is Lynn and host Iron Root. Mm, all the links uh, how to support Lynn I will provide below uh, where to join to conversation with Lynn as well uh, okay uh, as usually uh, our podcast had been uh, sponsored by free time and projections get your own get your own projector <laughs> <And free time. laughs> bye